Welcome back to Pathologic 2. In the last episode, we did a bunch of stuff with the Soul and a Haves, the faction of kids that live there, and also Bad Grief as well. Um, first thing I want to do now is head over to the ferryman down here because everybody hates me, get ferried up here to Laura Ravel's place, and sleep a little bit. At least until people don't want to punch me on sight, and then I can do some of these other things. Like at the town hall, we have a witness that can help clear her name. Um, I need to help out Bad Grief's people over here. I think that's all that's marked on the map for now. So, to the ferryman. I'm pretty hungry. I don't know if the eggs will go bad. They pr they might. I want to eat the fresher stuff first. I've got meat and smoked fish. Those definitely will last a long time. So let's eat the eggs. A little bit thirsty. Breaking the fence right over this way. No. This way. I can just follow the tracks, the train tracks across the bridge. And then the ferryman is just off to the side for the broken wall. Do I want to trade my bottles of water to these people? Hello, Earth. Speaking to me. I mean, I only really need one water bottle on me, and even that, not really. But I think it's three just for a tourniquet, and I've already got two. I'm just gonna wait. Alright, you're the one who wants to sell me a gun for like 2,000. What do you suggest? Peaceful, my ass. Where did you get it? What's your price? Oh, it's 3000 Never mind. Can you at least take a look? Yeah, there it is. See ya. Travel by a boat and up to Lara Ravel's place. It's going to take about a half hour on its own, so that's going to eat some of my time. I really want to sleep for as little as possible. You're hated. Oh, oh god, are you going to try to punch me? I think they're trying to punch me. Yep, okay. Lara. Even the step folk want to kill me. Kind of surprising, because I'm one of their people originally, right? I wonder if this time, when Lara said, find some bread in the cupboards, I wonder if this time there's actually going to be some bread in the cupboards. Remember, it was just totally missing before, but recently... Yeah, like, what the hell? I think something was wrong with my game before. Or I chose some option that really displeased the gods. Because every single drawer in this entire house was empty, and instead, look at this, this is amazing stuff. I'm rich. Where did that knife go? Oh, it got dropped. Let's eat the fresh fish. I maybe should start storing stuff. Huh. Um. Too rough for medical procedures, too dirty for cutlery, only good for taking lives. Also has extremely low durability. How many slots is that? Three vertical? I can make room for that, I think. Actually, can I? Yes, yes. The scalpel only takes two, so if I switch these out, I'm saving space. If 
there's stuff in every drawer, then I'm not going to have room for it. I'm looting all of Lara's stuff before I've even talked with them for the first time in like five or seven years or something. Awkward. You have dark circles under your eyes. Alright, I'll have the same conversation I had last time, so I'll cut that out. Finish for that conversation. They want me to sleep. They're also going to put the word out that I might not be the person who killed my father. Which I don't think will take effect until we sleep for a bit. I don't know if I actually have to sleep or if it's just time passing that makes it happen. Anyway, let's check upstairs. See if we can get more things from drawers. Speak with the changeling. Hey, is there still nothing? There's still nothing in there. Light feet and heavy heart. Finished with that weird conversation. Oh yeah, and when we come back down, we can tell Laura about it, and they're like, "What are you talking about? Hallucinating?" Yes. You have a guest. No one's there. Everything's locked up. Said a bunch of nasty things. Yeah, that's as far as we can take it. Fine, not want to pry into the secrets of others. Did I loot this? Hmm, seems like it's just that one cabinet out there that has any loot. Let's save and then sleep. Um... Hold on. Hold on. Should I take a morphine? I know when I sleep this time I get interrupted a bunch of times though. So like I don't know if it even if there's even a point to taking the morphine, but let's try it. It'll make us recuperate faster. We're a bit hurt and maybe it'll make us less exhausted as well. Ooh, the immediate effect is it makes us a bit more exhausted. I don't want to sleep too long, but my exhaustion is pretty high. Let's say two hours. Yeah, we're going to do this again. I'm going to do the same thing I did. Apologize to every one of them. Shall we try? And here we go. Can I do better this time? Take on three at a time with just my fists. I'm probably gonna lose again. Three on one. Fuck. Do I have anything in my inventory? I can't even open my inventory. Shit, I think I just killed one. Wait, they don't... They don't surrender. They just die. See? You're a man of fate, Barak. What are you trying to prove? You can't change fate. Have you heard the story of... It's a pronounced... Oedipus? But what's my fate? I told you already, Barak. It's not pretty. You'll spill blood. Just let it go, Ripper. Don't be so bullheaded. Just because you have a hammer doesn't mean every problem's a nail. I'm not a Ripper. So that's what happens if you quote unquote succeed. You don't, you can't really succeed. <clears throat> How we doing? Exhaustion's still super high. Health is pretty good. I think we only slept for an hour though, right? Sleep for another hour? Is the morphine still working? Um, yeah, reputation's improved. Let's take some coffee. It's unhealthy, but it'll take away my exhaustion. 
by a pretty good amount too. It hurt my health and increased my hunger. But that's okay, health is pretty good. Yeah, this this is definitely enough exhaustion to work with. I can just go out and spend the rest of the day doing stuff for the rest of the night. I'm trying to think if I should eat something. Nah. Was it a month ago? I don't remember. Things still look bad for you, Cub, but I managed to help a little. Makes me feel a warm and fuzzy to be Cub again. I missed you, Laura. I'll come to their senses soon. You know how mobs work. We've had this conversation. It's up to you. Is it? You're gone for six years? You're an outsider now. Five years, not six. Closer this time, though. You'll have to start over, Cub. Although, maybe not entirely. The kin must be eager to see you. With Isidore gone, someone has to take his place. Not just for your step people, but for us all. I know. What did that do? Laura told her neighbors that I'm innocent. The inhabitants of the nearby districts won't attack me anymore. Hmm, right. Laura only does it for the nearby residences. Including the one where a person's going to testify for me. But on my other playthrough, somebody came through and kind of cleared my name, sort of, for like everything. I forgot exactly what happened there, but we should be fine, because I can just go here and that should clear my name. Hopefully. Anyway, no time to lose. Am I going to be summoned by Vlad? No. Remember there was a person standing right here last time who summoned me? Or, well, delivering a message that Vlad had summoned me? Not this time. Ah. Oh, they weren't trying to kill me? This is the person who thinks we're supposed to be together. I thought they were still angry at me for a second. They were going to try to punch me. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. Who are you? You're an herb bride. We can't have a relationship. We've talked to them before. I'm not touching you. Will you have me now? But who are you? Fine, I'll wait for you to remember me. I'll find you. We'll meet again soon. I will wait for you, Basagan. What do you want to tell me? Dead tired. Ah, about sleeping. Did they give me something? Like an item? Nah, I don't need one anyway. And then we also have this person up here to talk to, so I'll redo that conversation. Whoa. I didn't even initiate the conversation, it just started for me. the earth speaking again. I was kind of looking down and like drinking water, but did these roots just like suddenly sprout out or were those, were those not there before? They look very unnatural. Hmm. Anyway, no time to lose. Let's go clear my name. Also trade some stuff. I have so much stuff. I need to trade it badly. And this one's about thirst. Don't you give me a bottle of water? Yes. Thanks. Dove. The Brock prophecy is true. Each Brock will spill a river of blood. You mean Isidore? Yeah, we've already had a conversation. A lemon? Eating a lot of lemons is bad for your teeth. They won't make you less hungry, but they're certainly an invigorating fruit. So it sounds like that increases my energy? Kind of like coffee? Can't imagine that's very effective, though. 
But anyway, that's the first time I've seen fruit here, I think. Costs three. I can trade a bar of soap for a lemon? Hell yeah. Much smaller, too. Two needles for six. Uh, I don't want to give up my healing items. Bandage or tourniquet. I want to store some of this stuff, I guess, but I don't really know where to store it. Like, hopefully we're going to sort of have a home base at some point. I guess we could use Lara's as a home base, sort of, but... I don't know. Maybe that's fine. It's just, I'd prefer something closer to the center of town. This is pretty far away. Aw, name is Tot. You poor thing, we still think you're good. Well, thanks so much. All oh, right, the kitten. Um, I'm like a kitten myself. That's enough cats in my life. <laughs> an egg for five. Oh, a fingernail? I should probably trade for one, because I don't have any right now, and it could be very useful if I need to get across the map and don't have much time. Six for that. Marbles two. Hazelnuts five. Nice. A beetle's three. Um, can I get all that and the egg? What do, what do I need for that? Eleven. Scrap name. Mm, the step people like the scrap names more than the kids, I think. So maybe I'll save that for them. Yeah, over trading by one. That's fine. Thanks, kid. What are you about? Oh, I already spoke with you, I guess. I feel like I just went in a circle. I maybe did. Oh, you're the money one. Is this some kind of test of character? Thank you for the money. Is this the one where the spotlight illuminates it? This post here? I think this was the post that got illuminated. Didn't happen this time. Maybe it only happens at night or something. Okay, this should be the place. The kid should be waiting outside somewhere. Alexander Sabarov, the town's governor, is in charge of the investigation. Wait, this isn't the town hall, is it? I mean, I guess it is. It's marked. Does Sabarov also live here? just happened. The dog-eared boy didn't come. No witness, as expected. Oh, shit. Well, fuck. Whisper. Don't go in there, buddy. If you do, you won't come out. Why not? Because Sabarov will seize you first, just like he did the rest, and investigate your guilt later. Thanks for the advice. Although, at least they'd feed you in jail. You'd have a chance to rest and wait it out until the birds stop squawking and return to their nests. What birds? I mean, we know exactly what birds. The talons. People are like flocks of birds. When the earth shakes or the wind howls, they startle and squawk. 
some frightened, while others parrot an echo. Who started it? Why? Where does the wind blow from? When will it end? No one decides this. The flock doesn't think, it just listens, and only to itself. Yes, I remember. Our town's like this. Seems like Sabrov isn't inclined to listen to any explanations. He'll just throw me in jail, no questions asked. Should I still risk it? No. So I'll be fed and I'll get rest? Great, so my stats will go up, but also a million opportunities will pass me by because I'll be stuck in fucking jail. Hell no. Shit. Metal scrap. Used for fixing stuff. The only thing out of mine they'll take is a match. What about a spring? No. Okay, where do I go now? I'm hated over here, so I probably shouldn't go there. <laughs> Shit. Hmm. Uh, I could go do the surgery. It's only a little bit into this territory. Maybe there'll be no one there. Let's go try. I'm going to cut into him with a rusty scalpel. That's nasty. Oh yeah, there's a chest up there. I need to go there. I know you can trade up. Like, at least I'm pretty sure you can trade up, where if you trade certain things, it's worth more to one person than another. So if I knew exactly what each group liked, I could probably trade something good for the soap, and then maybe someone else would be super interested in the soap. But I just don't know what groups buy what. I think the step people like the names. Discarded names. Beyond that, I'm not sure. Well, obviously, the... Nuts are loved by the kids for playing games, marbles, sharp objects as well. Okay, so I know a bit about the kids, but not the other groups. Ooh, another fingernail. For six. Yeah, let's trade some beetles. Heck yeah. I don't feel like I need immunity boosters. Like there's no sickness right now? That I know of, anyway. Could trade him the lockpick. Nah, it's the only one I've got. Wait, is it? Yes, it is. Yeah, let's go get the chest up here. Wait, isn't that where the chest... Oh, no, it's here. Button. Never seen that before. I need to look at some descriptions, don't I? Murky is said to have a doll, but no one's ever seen it. Perhaps it simply lives all over the town. That's creepy. Mm, yeah, I haven't looked at the lemon. No, I didn't mean to eat it. I guess that's fine, actually. But, whoops. I'm actually kind of hungry, too. Let's eat the toast. It takes up a bit of space. This tool would easily damage an internal organ during an autopsy because it's rusty. Hmm. Maybe I should go buy a proper one. Should I? The leash. All soul and the halves have a leash. 
I think they represent humility towards their animal halves. But what would a dog head do with one? You know what I'm worried about? I am worried that the reason the kid didn't show up at the town hall is because the soul and halves got to him and killed them. Hmm. You know what? For some reason, I've been going around town this entire time without sprinting. I think I just forgot that I can sprint. I can sprint. Did this... Is this like all that's left of the rest of whatever this building was? It's possible sprinting will eat through my hunger faster though, I'm not sure. Okay, do I still want to do the surgery with a rusty scalpel? There's a pharmacy over there. A little too close for comfort. Now that I can sprint, I might be able to outrun some people. There's a pharmacy up here. Christ, how do I get over there? Infinite wall. Oh. Um, there's a throughway up here. I know you're in pain, Earth. I'm sorry. I don't think I need a third fingernail. Yeah, so it seems like it's the kids that have the ferryman tickets, so to speak. Don't really need more morphine. I still have one. Button trades for four. Move along or I'll scream? Uh... Okay, I'm going. She'll scream, but you're willing to trade with me? Alright. Oh, I think it adds to my thirst significantly to sprint. Not that that's a big deal at all. Clean scalpel, 650. Oh right, and Twirine, which reveals special things. I want to drink that just for curiosity's sake, really. Um, oh, I can just buy it outright, actually. Should I sell the rusty scalpels? Hmm. I mean, they're sort of sharp, so maybe the kids would be interested in them. They like sharp objects, I'm not sure. They're quite large, is the thing. But I suppose as long as I have the space, why not keep him? <coughs> Excuse me. Is there anything that's absolutely worth selling? Broken ampule? No. Like, I think it's stuff like pocket watches that I would want to sell. Fancy things that people might not want to trade for. I think they would trade for it, though. Yeah, let's just buy it out, right? Mm, I'm gonna get rid of the rusty scalpels. No one has wanted to trade for them so far. Just for space. Wait, they put them straight for sale? The rusty scalpels? You sure you want to sell those? Seems kind of... A little, um... 
ethically bad. Well, if I see special things, places and events hidden from naked eyes, let's drink it. Wow. The town is calling to me. Whoa. I thought I would have to go buy something for it to reveal it, like walk by it. But it just told me where it was. It was quite cheap too. That was like 80 coin. Hmm. Well, I can't go there right now because I would be punched to death. But soon. Egg for five. Chalk is two. This view is messing with my head. This background, what is happening with it? Is it because of the Twirine stuff I just took? Hmm. Three and two. Enough to buy an egg. Hunger's not very high, but... Uh, I'll eat an egg. I can eat two, actually. Nice crunchy sound. Do you know why the egg is crunchy? Eating the shell and all. Oh, look at this, like, leather patchwork chair. <clears throat> anyway, gotta stay on the move. I need to get over there, so forwards and then to the left. for beetle for a needle. Oh, there's a shit ton of kids here. Springs can be used to repair. Not that I would use a spring to repair like a scalpel or something, but... Uh, well, I haven't seen any need for it so far, so I'm not going to feel too bad about getting rid of it. I'll get a needle for a beetle. Smoked fish. Food's always good. And I already have some, so it'll stack. Seven. Oh, it's just the buttons, really. I'm not going to give them needles. Just a fingernail. Nah, none of that. Is that a, that's a ferryman. Why am I going back here? I guess it's fine to explore this, because this is taking me where I want to go. Yeah, sure. I wish I could more calmly look at everything around me. How close am I to the other district? Ah, I gotta go across the bridge for that, so these people won't punch me. <clears throat> oh, I think the candle stub was worth a lot to the step people. Oh, but they won't trade anything for that except a match. Immunity boosters. Mm, I could give them two scrap names for that, but again, I'd rather save that for the step people. Um, I should save my stamina before I go into the hated district so that I may run away. Okay, I'm in the bad place. Let's sneak. I guess, does that do anything when you're in daylight? I think I'm fine to not sneak, because I don't think there's... Oh no, actually, there's somebody right there. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of people. Shit. Are you all gonna, like, get up? 
They might be all kids. Hi. Bye. Whew. We're okay. I think there's a lot of locks to pick in here, which means I'm probably going to run out of space in my inventory. <laughs>